Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim is visiting Baghdad today for a significant political and economic trip. Doha is reportedly in talks with Egypt's Wealth Fund for investments in historic hotels. Qatar Financial Center has picked up ChatGPT for customer services. And finally, Christophe Gaultier is reportedly on his way out of Paris Saint-Germain. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar's Amir is visiting Baghdad as part of an official state visit to Iraq. An Iraqi government spokesman said the visit holds significant political and economic dimensions. This marks the second trip to Baghdad by Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, who visited Iraq in 2021. It also comes amid talks of potential collaboration between the two countries in oil and gas exploration. Now, Qatar Investment Authority and the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Egypt are allegedly in talks over a deal, which would see Doha potentially investing in seven historic hotels in the African nation. According to Reuters, QIA is looking to acquire a stake of up to 30% in the hotels. The name of the hotels have not been discussed closed. However, it is believed they are located in multiple cities such as Cairo and Alexandria. The potential landmark deal between the two countries comes as relations continue to warm following the 2017 political crisis. In other news, the Qatar Financial Center has launched an interactive chatbot powered by ChatGPT to provide better customer care. The new service named Ask QFC will provide customers with real-time support instead of being limited to usual business hours. This marks yet another step in Qatar's plans to step towards digital across government entities and the country. And finally, following a season of turbulence at Paris Saint-Germain, head coach Christophe Galtier may be heading for the exit. The Frenchman took the reins at PSG just last July, guiding the club to a Ligue 1 title. However, he joined a growing list of managers who have failed to capture the UEFA Champions League. A summer of change is currently ongoing at the Parc des Princes, with the futures of star boy Kylian Mbappé and Neymar also hanging in the balance. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.